we had a red spotted purple last year and there was no red spots on it and it wasn't purple. It was like an orange spotted blue. And so I kind of jokingly referred to it as that. So scientific names will tell you more about close relatives and classification than the common name usually will. Scientific names are broken down by genus and then species. And the genus is the first part of that scientific name. The species is the second word usually. Caligo memnon, Caligo eurolocus, same genus, different species. Think of it like a family tree, if you will. If they have the same genus, then they're very closely related. Scientific names are universal. They're often in Latin with Caligo atrius. Uh, I called it an atrius owl. I've also heard it called a yellow-edged uh, forest owl. And then you can get kind of crazy with some of the common names versus if I just call it Caligo atrius, no matter what language is like your primary language, you, then you know exactly what I mean. 